Hi everyone, Chris Tuck here from West Wickham Health and Fitness. Welcome to a festive week of exercise here at West Wickham Health and Fitness. I have just done early risers and we did a pyramid, which is a brilliant protocol to work out to. It's 50 seconds, 40 seconds, 30 seconds, 20 seconds, 10 seconds. Um, using the whole body, we do a cardio exercise, then some arms and legs and some abs, and we repeat that four times through, but with different exercises in each pyramid. So we can really target the heart, the lungs, and all of the muscle groups from top to toe. So that's what we did this morning. Do you like my antlers? I must admit, they're not mine. Um, I found them in the club, but I put them on, made it more festive, made my lady smile. So, what do I want to talk to you about right now? It's, again, managing your stress, managing the anxiety that you may be feeling, not just because it's the lead up to Christmas, but because of what else is going on in this world. It just seems to be so ramped up at the moment and you can see it in the way that people are interacting with each other or interacting with each other. Um, so my post last week was about being kind to yourself and those around you. And just remember, none of us know someone else's backstory or what they've been through that day or what they're actually dealing with. So yesterday I found out um, that Joe Underhill, um, a lovely fit pro, passed away, lost her battle with cancer. Um, and that, very upsetting. She battled right to the end, lovely, lovely lady, a really lovely person, and she's now gone. So when you do put life into perspective, it is about actually being grateful for what you've got and building on that. And it's also taking a look at yourself, your mindset, your mental health, your physical health, which cannot be separated, it's all one thing, yeah? In order for you to look after yourself mentally, you have to look after yourself physically and vice versa. Um, when we are in fight, flight, freeze mode because of overwhelming daily stress, drip, drip stress and big rock stress and everything else that's going on at the moment, it's no wonder that people are struggling. Our children are struggling. Our parents are struggling if you still have parents. We are struggling. So it's just to keep reinforcing that be kind message to you, yourself, and to those around you. And again, being mindful that the body, when it is in this fight, flight, freeze mode, some people will overeat, some people will undereat. And it's about managing your stress in the most optimal way. And that will be making sure that you get good nutrition into your body. That means good fats, good proteins, good carbohydrates, yeah? Cutting down on the sugar, cutting down on the stimulants. It is so easy to reach out for the sugar and the stimulants in order to you to make yourself self feel better, to calm yourself down, to take away some of that pain. But in the long term, it doesn't help mental and physical health in the long term. In the short term, fine. But in the long term, if it becomes a daily habit, if it becomes a crutch, it doesn't help. So it really needs you to focus in on you and what you're doing on a daily basis so that you can manage this overwhelming stress and anxiety that you may be feeling. So try and eat well. Good carbohydrates, good fats, good proteins. Drink lots of fresh, clean water. Two to three litres of water sit throughout the day. Try and get a good night's sleep. If you can get into bed by 10.30, 11 p.m. of an evening, that will really help you with your moods, with, your, um, with how you're feeling and with your energy levels. And also, just making sure you get out. 
Don't sit around for long periods of time. Get out into the fresh air, get walking, make 10,000 steps a day your goal. When you move, you shift your mindset. You shift or you work all of your bodily systems and that will help keep your body functioning the way that it should. Even better, if you can get the support of a friend or a family member to go out walking with, that will be amazing. Now I've got some of my ladies in my group at the moment that made a pact to come together to make sure they turned up to their fitness sessions. When we get overly like um, too much of our time um, is just being eroded by doing other things like Christmas, preparing for Christmas, etc. Other things drop off. So your daily habit of exercise has dropped away because you haven't got time for it. But we know that if we do our fitness, it makes us feel better, it gives us more energy, and then we can get on with our daily chores or our daily um, run up to Christmas and really get everything done that we need to get done. Because it just puts you in the best of moods. So, look after yourself. If you don't look after yourself, everything else around you will start to fall apart. It will feel like that. So invest in yourself, make sure that you eat well, nutritionally well, make sure that you get out for some daily exercise and make sure that you try and do get some sleep and some rest and some downtime for you. All right, so that's my Christmas message. Our health is our wealth and we've only got one mind and one body and we've got to live in that. So make it the healthiest that you can for you so that you can live your life to the full and that you can help those around you as well. So from me and my antler ears, I want to wish you a really good day and I will pop on during the festive period at different times just to say hello and just to make sure that you're all okay. All right, so have a good day. Any health and fitness, wellness questions, please put in them in the comments below. And I'm off now to walk my dog. All right then everyone, have a good day. Be kind, remember, be kind. Okay, bye.